I just filmed a video on this face I have on. Um, it's just kind of a little smoky eye with um, blue on the bottom, and obviously you can use any color on the bottom. If you're wearing something pink, you can throw some pink down there. Um, I feel like this would be good for like a squatty, a squatty, like over summer or barbecue or something fun like that. So yeah, if you guys like the space I have on, let's make up. Please kiss me. If you guys like this makeup I have on, then keep watching the video. And if you like the video, then give me a thumbs up and maybe some nice little comments down there. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Hey guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face. I'm using the same primer I always do, the Smashbox, um, the pore minimizer one. I just like to grab the little sample sizes from Ulta. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use concealer to prime my eyeballs. I'm using the MAC um, Studio, I don't remember. Oh, the MAC, the Pro Concealer. I'm just putting that all over my eyelids. And I'm taking my Naked Basics palette and a flat brush and I'm putting it in that shimmery color, the highlight color right there. I'm putting it all over my lid and I'm just packing it on because I want it to be really bright in that area. And I'm taking my fluffy brush and I'm going into my Makeup Geek eyeshadows that I'm obsessed with and I'm taking, what are you, Barcelona Beach and I'm putting it in my crease. You guys should seriously check out the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. They're super cheap for like really, really high quality. And you can make a little palette of your own if you like certain colors and they're super cool. You'll see a lot of them in this video. And I'm just blending it out a lot. Um, I, did, I barely cut any of the blending out here so you'll see a lot of it. And I'm taking my Naked palette again and that um, dark brown color. And I'm putting it on the outer corner of my eye with my um, little tapered blending brush. I'm just kind of putting that in my outer corner and in my crease to kind of deepen it up a little bit. And I'm just blending it away. And then I'm taking that fluffy brush with nothing on it and just blending it out to make sure there's no harsh lines. I just wanted the top part to be really simple. And then I'm taking my Naked palette again. I didn't show you the palette, but I'm taking that same color we started with. I'm taking my um, blending brush and just making sure there's no harsh lines. I just wanted the top part to be really, really simple and blend it out. And then I'm taking my foundation. I've been using the True Match, the Lumi foundation. And I've gotten whiter, <laughs> so I have to really blend this out because it's darker than me now. And I'm just putting that all over my um, face with a flat foundation brush and then I'm blending it out with my damp beauty blender. And I love my beauty blender. I feel like it's a lot easier than a foundation brush. I just like the finish it gives me. So then I have a pimple on my chin. So I'm covering it up using a stick concealer from Revlon and I'm just blending that out with my beauty blender again. Sorry if you hear my dog in the background. He's running around. And then I'm taking my Naked Concealer and I'm using that to conceal-ish my under eyes. My, they weren't that bad so I'm kind of just using this to highlight today. I'm highlighting down the middle of my nose and on my chin and my forehead. And I'm going to blend that out again with my damp beauty blender. And I'm just going to yeah blend out the, one, the lines on my nose and my chin and my forehead. And then I'm going to do my eyes. And um... I like to really push that in and then I like to take my highlighter, the highlighting powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the banana one, and put that on right after. And I do one eye at a time so it doesn't crease because I hate when it like looks creasy under there because it makes me look like I have really old skin, <laughs> like I have wrinkles. And then I uh, put that, that powder, the banana one from Anastasia Beverly Hills, all over all those places that I highlighted. And then I'm taking my dip brow from Anastasia and I'm using the, looks like the chocolate one, and I'm putting it, I start at the beginning. I honestly, I do my eyebrows like differently every day. I'm still kind of like experimenting with them and seeing what I like and what I don't like. So if I, you see me do it differently and every time I do it, it's because I pretty much do. So I'm doing the front and you see I messed up so I just wipe it off. You have to work quick with this kind of though, like you have to blend it out quick and if you get do get it in a place where you don't want it, you got to wipe it off quick because it stays and it's waterproof. So it will stay all day. So once I do the front and then I'm filling in the tail 
you see I draw a little line underneath and then I kind of just like feather it up and push it up and I just blend it out draw it on blend it out draw it on blend it out and I'm doing the same thing on this side making my little tail I've been kind of extending my tail a lot because last time I got my eyebrows down done they waxed off the end of my eyebrow so I've been extending it and there goes my camera it likes to fall down hi I was really actually kind of scared when it happened. And then I'm powdering my face using um, a translucent pressed powder. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and my Real Techniques um, brush. And I'm putting using that to contour my face. And I'm just putting it under my cheekbones where I usually do around the edge of my forehead. And blending it out. And then I'm using my Becca Opal highlighter that I'm obsessed with, if you can't tell already. If you've seen all my other videos, you've seen me use this like a hundred million times because it's so pretty. I love it. I'm going back into that shimmery color that I put on my lid and I'm putting it under my brow bone to highlight under there. I don't do this always, but I liked it for this because it I don't know, was pretty, I think. And I'm using my favorite um, Ardell 120 eyelashes. I love them. They're just so natural. It like you can kind of pull off like that you just have really nice eyelashes not that you're wearing fake ones I'm putting on mascara before because um, I reuse my eyelashes and if you want to do that then you should not put mascara on them because then they'll get really stiff and kind of like I don't like the word crusty but it really does get like that from the mascara so if you want to reuse your eyelashes put mascara on first and then put your eyelashes on and don't mess with them after so I do my eyelashes the same I always do. I've shown this a lot of times. If you want to see me do this, I pretty much do it in every single video. So you can check it out. I just put the middle on and then I scoot the outer edges to there. And I use tweezers always. I always have. I always will because it's the easiest way to do it. I seriously, I tried to put on it one time with my like real fingers and it just didn't, didn't work. So I'm just making sure the inner corner is really on there because if you wear eyelashes, you know that the inner corner likes to pop off. So I'm just making sure they're really stuck on there. And then I'm taking the star of the show and that's Mermaid um, by Makeup Geek. And it's so pretty. It's like blue, but it has like green, like, I don't know. It's I can't even explain it good. It has, it's blue. But it has like a green like shimmer in it, so it's it's really cool and it like looks different colors and different lights, and I really really like it. So I'm just using a flat brush and kind of packing that on there. Um, you see, I go back in and I put it back on. I go back in and put it back on because I really wanted it to be really blue. So I'm taking my NYX um, neutral lip pencil, and I'm just lining my lips with that. And then I'm taking this lipstick. Um, I forget what it's called, but I'll put it in the description box down below if you want to know. I'm taking my NYX Butter Gloss, and I'm putting that on also. And yeah, that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys recreate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this from me. And yeah, thank you guys. Bye.